Jamie, great to talk to you, and congratulations from all of us here and all over America. Thank you very much. And wow, what a huge welcoming you got uh, at Columbus State University last night when you got back. Yeah, it was awesome. I didn't expect it at all, but uh, the faculty and staff were great. Uh, it was just, it was amazing. It was really appreciative. Well, we need to let people know you're an assistant rifle coach there, right? Yep, yep. I mean, it has got to be a real inspiration to the athletes on that team to see what you did, all the dedication and hard work, and it ended up, and you won a gold. Not only won a gold, but you broke a record. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully we'll be able to run with that this season. Uh, I'm looking forward to coaching those guys, and, and hopefully we can make it to the NCAA championships this year. Looking back at the competition in London, anything really stand out in your mind? Yeah, a couple things, actually. Um, you know, going after prone, I didn't think I had a good, you know, my prone was not great. I started out with a 98. Um, I was like, man, I really need to pick it up. Uh, and, and then I had a hundred. So I was like, okay, 198 prone. I can live with that. Uh, and then in standing, uh, the, the girl shooting next to me, the Russian that was in the final, she, um, started her standing off with a hundred. And I was like, man, she's smoking. And I was like, well, if she can shoot in this one, I can do it too. You know what I mean? And so that really gave me some inspiration actually. Um, and then after standing, it was only down four points with prone and standing out together. So I knew I had to be at the top of the leaderboard going to kneeling. Um, and, and so I went back and talked to my coach, Dave Johnson. and was like, Hey, I just need some inspiration. Like, you know, I know I have a good one going, I, you know, what do I need to focus on? What do we need to do here? And so, we, you know, we just talked about it a little bit, a uh, couple minutes, and I went up and, sh and shot some good kneeling uh, in, in some tough wind. And then uh, going into the final, you know, that ninth shot, um, mm -hmm. I had an 8.9. I was like, no, I'm not going to let this happen again. I, I saw a medal kind of slip away in 2008, and, and I definitely didn't want to see that happen again. Uh, so I Really started concentrating in on that last shot. Um, really, you know, I visualized that shot day in and day out, uh, and I knew I was ready for it. So um, I was so ecstatic after I saw it. I shot a 10.8. <laughs> no kidding. Amazing. I mean, you're talking a near-perfect score. And as you said, I know I was reading where you said, you know, that last shot's always the hardest. And, and it yes. really paid off all that training you've been doing. Yes, definitely. Uh, you know, and, and we make it that hard. You, uh, as shooters, we just make that last shot so difficult. Uh, it's no different than any other shot, but we just tend to, you know, it, it's that last one, anything can happen. So, uh, yeah, it was, it was awesome. I've got to ask you, because your husband, Hank, is a member of the U.S. Army Marksmanship Unit. Yes. And I'm sure he was just going crazy back there along with all his buddies. Yeah, they were, uh, he had one of our gunsmiths came over to the house and watched it with him, and they were, they were definitely super excited. I called him right after the final, and, and he, he was definitely so excited for me. It was awesome. So I got to ask you, how competitive is it really between you guys? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, we're both two of the most competitive people you can meet. Uh, we compete at everything, and, and we enjoy it, though. We, we play everything together. You know, we're big uh, table tennis players, so uh, we go out and play table tennis outside against each other at the house, and it gets a little heated sometimes. <laughs> um, but uh, we also do some shooting drills together and, and some shooting games, and um, it goes both ways, so. Yeah, oh, I bet it's great discussion at the dinner table, too. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But, you know, I was, ta I was talking with Matt em Emmons about his winning the bronze, and he was so excited, he said, to see you win the gold. And he said, you have never met a tougher competitor than Jamie. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, I, he's one of my best friends, um, so we know each other very, very well, and, and he knows how competitive I am, um, as well as him. I mean, he's held himself together through so many hard times. Yeah. I mean, he's, there's not an Olympic athlete out there who's had eight years of build up for that last shot like he has, and, I mean, my hat goes off to him for pulling out the bronze. And I'm sure it really is like a big family, isn't it, being part of the USA shooting team? Yeah, definitely. Uh, we're all, you know, there's a bunch of us who are really close. Um, but yeah, Matt, Matt and Katie, Hank and I are all, we're best friends. Uh, we'll do anything for each other. So it's awesome to be able to travel with, with your best friends, for sure. Well, your win, Kim Rohde's big win, Sergeant Vincent Hancock's big win. I was talking with the range yesterday, and they said already they're seeing the impact. Young kids signing up saying, hey, I want to learn how to shoot. That has got to make you feel good. Yeah, it does. Honestly, I mean, that's we're ambassadors of this sport. That's what we really, you know, are out there doing. Um, if I can just reach out to one kid, it, it 
it's worth it. Um, so uh, it's amazing to hear that. You know, I mean, that's that's all we want to hear. Is I mean, we want to have people come into the shooting sport, whether it's competitive or not, but just you know, learn about safety of guns and you know how to handle them properly and um and it's just amazing to hear people are getting excited about it well hey you look at yourself you started shooting what when you were eight years old yeah definitely yep um i shot a little bit before that in the basement with a bb gun but i started competitive bb gun when i was eight so i was i've been around guns almost my whole life so i bet you had your heart set on the olympics ever since then huh yeah, I actually didn't know um, shooting was an Olympic sport until I started uh, That's shooting true. international style, you know, rifle and, and air rifle uh, when I was 15. And then, yeah, definitely had some Olympic dreams in in there. You know, and that's a really good point, because when you look at the coverage you all got in London, compared to what the sh coverage the shooting sports has gotten in the years past, that alone was a huge impact, don't you think? Yeah, definitely. You know, uh, I mean, we've been on, they had it on NBC, you know, a lot of the finals. Uh, and, you know, we can't ask for more than that. It's uh, hopefully we can stream some, some more events, but uh, I think the coverage has been quite good, yes. I mean, you were on the Today Show. Kim Rohde was, what, on uh, Jay Leno's show, David Letterman. It's great. Definitely. It's awesome. You know, and she's a great ambassador for the sport. She's a great person to have that to her name, five Olympic medals and five consecutive consecutive games it's just amazing and you know, she's great for the sport for sure so what do you think now another olympics how's things looking you think <laughs> yeah definitely uh i'm looking forward to training for rio um i'll take a little bit of time off here and uh and just relax and try to let my body recover from uh just from shooting i have some back issues so hopefully they'll they'll pan out a little bit better for me with a little bit of time off and then um yeah, I'm looking forward to Rio. Boy, talk about pressure and emotion. Did you have any time at all in London to do anything fun? You got any good memories about that? Yeah, you know, I went to um, t a table tennis match. And then <laughs> um, I also saw beach volleyball as well. So uh, it, was, it, it was awesome to be able to get, do those two things. Shooting two events is a little more difficult. You don't have as much time yeah. off. And, um, but the Olympics is about the competition, and uh, I couldn't ask for more, honestly.